Hello folks, uh, this is again a question of a different board, but uh, this question is very very applicable to our A-level also. Uh, it has, um, the question is like this, a body is initially at rest, at rest, two forces are then applied to it, one is constant, the other acts in the opposite direction, so that means the body is like this, so one acts from here and one another acts from here. And this one is constant, this one is a constant, but the other is that the force is proportional to the velocity. So with that, we have to identify among which uh, is the correct choice. So, 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 so this is a, a slightly complex question. So we have to draw lots of uh, diagrams here. So let me say I will draw the diagram in a, in a, in a single package here first. So uh, let me draw a huge thing like this. And uh, let me say, I, so in, in the very initial, in the very beginning here, I have uh, the constant force here. This is F constant. And I have, uh, uh, so in the beginning, the velocity equal to zero. So V equal to zero, which means that the force from this direction, force left, force left is equal to zero. So since V equal to zero, force left equal to zero. That means that at that time, at that time, the force resultant is equal to this minus this, this minus this. So it's equal to Fc minus zero equal to Fc and acceleration is, acceleration is high at that time, high. So after some time, after some time, since there is some sort of acceleration here, what happens is this is constant, this is constant. So V slightly increases, V increases. So if V increases, F left also, left also increases. The force to this direction also increases. That means now the force resultant will be equal to Fc minus F left. So this should decrease. The force resultant should decrease. So that means, that means, that means the acceleration, acceleration, acceleration should decrease. So A should decrease. So that means initially A was high and it decreases. So from here, what you have is choice number A and B do not qualify because they have said that A increase and A increase. So these two things disqualify. So what you have is A was high and A decreases. Now since A decreases, what now happens is V increases, V increases, but it happens slowly which means that F left also increases, increases, but it is now slow. So this means F resultant decreases, decreases, but slow, which means that the acceleration, acceleration decreases, decreases, but slow. So this process goes on continuing, 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 till let us say, the acceleration decreases, decreases, and be, let us say A becomes zero. So as in the process of decreasing, let us say A becomes zero. When A becomes zero, what you have now is V becomes constant. When A becomes zero, V becomes constant. Constant and since it was increasing, 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 and now it is constant. It was increasing and now it is constant. So it means that this F left, F left also becomes constant this also becomes constant it means that now f resultant it is decreasing 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 and this also becomes constant now once it becomes constant a also becomes constant a also becomes constant so now a is now constant a is now constant at zero once it reaches zero a becomes constant constant at zero so which means now v again becomes constant and this cycle goes on repeating. So there can be no other instances according to the given conditions. So that means A is high in the beginning and beginning and now A equal to zero. So that means since A is high, at that time the velocity was increasing. The velocity was increasing. And since A equal to zero, now the velocity should be equal to constant. So that means initially velocity was increasing from zero, increasing from zero, but later velocity becomes constant, constant, and after that it doesn't increase, 
so that means it is constant as well as it is maximum also at that time so the correct answer choice will be choice number c and not choice number d and folks you know this is an ideal example of or this is another way of uh, explaining the terminal velocity yes this is in fact terminal velocity the one which was constant was the force of gravity and the one which was proportional to the velocity was the viscous force or the drag force what do you say so they have given it a different name actually they have removed the name and made things slightly difficult for us so in case of uh, viscous force also initially v0 it increases but at lower rate lower rate lower rate and ultimately v becomes constant and the value of acceleration initially it is uh, high very high it goes in decreasing in decreasing and ultimately a becomes zero and uh, the velocity at which acceleration gets uh, terminated uh, is called as terminal velocity so it gives a graph somewhat like this the graph of a is the graph of a is somewhat like this so it's t a it is highest highest then it goes in decreasing decreasing and it becomes a zero here and the graph of v is somewhat like this so it is a zero in the beginning it increases and ultimately becomes constant so this problem though it looks vague it is another way of uh, explaining the terminal velocity